Okay, I have three different lights on for now um, to try and make the artificial lighting slightly more bearable. And I think this is the first movie. <laughs> This is the first video I will be doing that isn't like a voiceover. So I decided I wanted to add some clay hamsters to my stock of hamster related items because I used to dabble in Palmer clay as a child and I was not good at it. I was pretty shit. But a while ago, I bought these colors and I wanted to make some little hamsters with these colors. So I whipped this out and my wrist has been hurting lately. I think it's because of tension in my shoulders. You don't care. It doesn't matter anyways. But kneading this with like early onset arthritis was not working out. I was not having a fun time. Palmer clay's always just kind of annoyed me as a medium. I've worked with paper clay and I liked paper clay. I just am not a fan of Palmer clay. And I have liquid Sculpey somewhere so I could have softened it, but I just got pissed off and decided that I was going to move to cold porcelain because I've seen someone use cold porcelain. I think I saw I think I saw someone use it on TikTok and it looked cool. And it's homemade, it's cheap, and it's really durable. So there are some artists who I'll put up some pictures and like I'll put I'll leave their handle in there. But there are some artists that use cold porcelain and make really cool stuff. So especially after you glaze it, it is really durable. So um, I started to make some things. I had some pastels lying around. I prefer coloring. Um, I prefer coloring the clay with pastels rather than paint. I've had better luck, but I just pulled some more of the pieces I've done out and I'm sorely disappointed. So I wanted to make some handmade clay pins, so I made these two. These were like the first things I made and then I painted over them with gouache. I think they're cute. I think they turned out nice. And that's what this is for. Um, it's to put the pin backs on the back. I don't really trust super glue. I have not had good luck with super glue. Super glue and I are not friends. And then I made this little body of a hamster and couldn't be bothered to make the head. So I have that. I made this hamster and it looks like shit. It cracked. I mean, it's fine. It's like cute in a in an ugly way. It's not really what I wanted though. So I want to make like little hamsters like this and Play pins, but I attempted to make more and they all look like ass. So they're like Chernobyl hamsters. Um, the good thing is that this clay is cheap. So we're going to be here for a long ass time trying to figure this shit out because damn. And I think the reason why these are all like concave is because I was practicing smoothing it out with like water and seeing if that helped because there aren't, there aren't a ton of people I can find who use cold porcelain, but there's the people I do find have like really clean work. I'm like, how does that shit look so good? I don't know. I don't know. So, and then I made these. Um, this one's fine. I was gonna paint the whole thing. It's, I mean, it's fine. It's okay. This one looks like ass. I tried to color it with pastels and it did not work. But this one also has pastels. 
The brown is pastels and it's fine. This one did have pastels and I painted over it with uh, gouache just to make it more vibrant. Anyways, so we have plenty of failed creations. Uh, stash. So I ended up getting this varnish. I don't really want to use resin anymore. I just don't like working with it that much. I mean, I still have some that I would like to use up, but I just, I don't know where I am. I don't really know if I want to keep working with it. So I tried to look for something other than UV resin. UV resin is nice, but I've had issues with it curing and still being tacky. And it also yellows really bad over time. I mean, it depends on which one you get, but like, I don't know. I've seen older keychains of mine that I used UV resin with, and yeah. So, I got this. It was a Michaels. It's like 10 bucks, and you can like drown your creations in them. So, I said, fuck it, why not? The only thing is, I moved, and I don't know where my pin backs are. Need. All the things I don't need are what's here. I got the resealable, resealable kind of this. We're going to deal with the ones that actually turned out fine first. So I got quick set epoxy. You would not want to use UV resin for this. Look me in my eyes. Do not use UV resin if it is not translucent. If it's not like on the outside of something, if the light cannot get through the resin, do not fucking use it. So if these were like clear plastic, then you could use UV resin. Um, I have little finger condoms. I'm not gonna use them. Just don't, just don't be like me, okay? You do not want to touch this shit, um, and I'm fairly confident I will not touch it, so. It smells like shit, by the way, always. It smells like ass. As I said earlier, you should really wear finger condoms when you work with this stuff. If you do not, and you're a dumbass, then get it on yourself. You have rubbing alcohol on standby to wash it off. If you do anything with resin, it does not matter what type. UV, I, any other type, I don't know. This type, have rubbing alcohol on standby because if you, you do not wash this shit off with water. That would be your first mess. If you're stupid enough to do it somewhere that doesn't have ventilation it will make your whole house smell like shit and i you probably it, it'll probably give you cancer but what won't so um i'm gonna walk you through my process of making one of these bastards hopefully it doesn't turn out like these ones because i don't like these ones and um show you how to use porcelain clay a little bit so first off on the side next to robin Okay, I love this so much. I look at this every time and I laugh. Um, I keep my cold porcelain plate in little baggies. I like to keep it wet, nice and moist, if you will. First thing you're gonna do is put on some lotion. So I have some rosemary mint and keep your hands nice. I used this solution when I was making my clay, and um, so I've just stuck with the that that signature scent. So I'm only gonna pull off like a little bit because this the the mother clay, if you will, the what do they call like the little like is it a scoby like the little nasty placenta thing that grows in kombucha that's this is the scoby of the clay right we want to keep this moist okay so you double bag that shit bring some protection for the clay 
and when you get it out of here it's nice and smooth and everything mm -mm -mm. lovely i'm gonna add some white chalk just so that it's not translucent um again other people use acrylic i don't like using acrylic i tried it because it like dries on your hands and then it like left little i don't know i just don't like it amazing i love the amount of lint in this i do and now we're gonna make our little ears I'm kind of trying to work it is dry i live in a desert okay you just saw my head hi hello um bro i feel like this dries so fast and i think it's because i live in a desert and i hate it so i've been that's why i was experimenting with water and everything and if there are any any little folds in your clay where it isn't like completely smoothed out it will crack you will see it do you understand? You will see it. It'll crack and form a crevasse. Just like just like this Chernobyl hamster. For the love of all that's holy, I just want a crevasseless cute hamster. And for whatever reason, I don't know what I did. I must have angered God somehow because I can't have that. We're just gonna paint this one when it comes time and that's the back so I don't care so I'm gonna wait for this to dry that is an accident waiting to happen okay that also scares me I don't have I bought like a Swiss army knife for this exact reason but I don't want to get up and go get it so, how many of me does it take to open one paint can? <gasps> OMG. Don't sniff. You're supposed to waft substances. It smells like a plant. But I don't know what plant. Anyways, we're gonna drown him. We're gonna drown him. R.I.P. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can't find my hammer. Well, I have just now decided. Um. I think I'm gonna make more. And I will worry about those tomorrow. I've just now decided. So I will see you then.